what was really hard as a mom as well was right. watching her talk about what's next for her children. Oh yeah, that was our hardest and, conversation. Yeah. So what happened before she passed? Obviously, I know Caitlin is with, with me, you, yes. and Kylie is with. Well, to be honest and to be fair, nothing was ever really set in stone before Anna passed. I feel like as a family, you know, everybody, and I know even for me, I was just like, because I have kids myself. So for me, it's like, you definitely want to make sure, because every appointment they were telling her, you need to get your affairs in order. I also think that Anna didn't get her affairs in order only because she didn't want to accept the fact that she was passing. Right. And I mean, who wants to yeah. accept that fact? Right. It's such a young age and like, she does have two kids. She has a husband. Right. So I just think her biggest thing was like, if not wanting. Paper, like that I'm means right. like, and I, and like and if I, I sign this that paper, show. that yeah. means I'm basically going to die is how yeah. she probably felt. I definitely felt. understood when that she show. passed, there was no plan. No, I mean, it was like immediate. Like, like I had to hire a lawyer. We had to do emergency custody. Like, I couldn't do anything. We None of us but we that also, until that. we knew that Anna would never go on remission. We knew that she would never, like, be cancer-free. Yeah. Right. We knew that. But it was like, we knew, like, we didn't think that she was going to pass that fast. Yeah. No. No, no, not at all. Yeah, so it's like, we also no, didn't have anything in order for that reason. One to five years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One yeah. to five. One and to five. I will say something about her doctor. He never would give us, like... I'm not going to give you a time. Because like, even when she was getting worse, But I could ask, tell when he would say that, and he's like, I'm not going to give y'all a time because right. I don't like to do yeah. that. And he was like, you right. know, I'm not going to give you anything. Right. Right. Yeah. But yeah. I could kind of tell right. from, like, you telling me that, that, like, sh- we didn't have much yeah. time. And I think he was just trying to say that we didn't have much time, but, like, right. not say that physically. Yeah. 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 Right. And, like, in her mind, like, she was talking about, like, Caitlin graduating and, like, like Kylie graduating fifth grade. Like, those are the moments that, like, I see it on my now. It's like I'll get like I'm choking, but because like those are the moments that she's gonna miss. Like you know, you know, and like you know, it's just stuff like I just think about. Like, and I'll say it to my last breath. I should not be raising Caitlin, and Michael should not be raising Kylie. Anna should be here raising her girls. Period. Point blank. I'll say it till the day I die. That life is not fair. Um, you know, for the girls, definitely not. To Caitlin and Kylie, have they spoke? I know, I think you said that they haven't spoken since. Um, they, they speak. Have any, okay. Um, I mean, she's seen her like a couple of okay. times. Yeah. However, like we're very limited to the access that right. we get with Kylie, and it's, and it's not lack of trying yeah. as a family. Um, we have, we have, and he's not allowing us. But it is a very tough road, like even as a right. mama for it's of a very course, tough road yeah. to continue to reach out and reach out, yeah, and every time get denied, like, and then yeah, you not get reached back out right. to, or you know, get denied. And-